Mason Greenwood. One of the one of the most regular asked questions surrounding the reggae boys future is will we see Mason Greenwood in the Jamaican colours? And fortunately Al Grimson would have definitely cleared the hair on that. But what do I mean by clear the hair? What exactly do I mean by cleared the hair? Did Al Grimson say he will be coming to play for us? Did Al Grimson say he's not going to play for us? Did Al Grimson say that we might see him or we will see him? <laughs> These are the major, major questions. But honestly, thank you very much. Well, let's jump into that and just have a little small discussion around it. Um, we have a lot of things to ask. And even once, I, there was a big, big question asked surrounding the nature of what happened, what went down with uh, Mason Greenwood, if we would be comfortable with having him. And all of these questions were thrown at Al Grimson at a particular press conference that I was at. But we most definitely will be discussing it. And I'm um, going to jump straight into it. Let me just go over to the article at this present moment. So, Himir Al Grimson had done an article on, or done an interview for the pre match, I think it is a pre match press conference for the CONCACAF Nations League and he was questioned about the potential of Mason Greenwood playing for us. As I said before I get into that, people, please, I would really appreciate it if you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and let's get straight into it. So the Reggae Boys head coach, Emir Al Griffin, has openly expressed his keen interest in inviting, in inviting Manchester United um, and slash Etarfe forward Mason Greenwood to come to join up with the Jamaican national team. Now, currently, Greenwood is on loan at this present moment with Etarfe. I think he's actually having a fairly decent season, quite a good season. But the 22-year-old who earned a single cap for England against Iceland in September 2020 found himself on loan at Etaf after Manchester United deemed it necessary for him to continue his career away from the club. And that was solely because, because of the situation went down. And I won't get into that. We all know exactly what happened there. Now, he was, he's actually eligible to play for Jamaica through his father and at a base, base of all signs presented, think his, his father is very much interested in him playing for Jamaica. Now, suggesting so, so, um, eligible to play for Jamaica through his father, Andrew Greenwood, potential representation for the Caribbean nation has been a topic of discussion, with reports suggesting the Jamaican Football Federation is open to the idea. According to the FIFA rules, yeah, that is just a lot of rubbish. Iwagwa. At the, at the press conference, this is what Al Grimson said at the press conference. I would love to have him in my team. Like all coaches, I would like to have the best players in our team. But it's always up to the player himself if he wants to do it. Added, Al Grimson highlighted the player's autonomy in making such a significant decision regarding his future. Now, this, this is actually um, from the Athletic. And I watch the, 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 the press conference. Um, I think I think most most persons have watched the press conference. No, he also Algimson also said said, said, said um, uh, uh, some other, some other stuff. You, these are some other stuff he said. I don't like to talk about what if, but this of course has come to our mind. Al Grimson told um, told the nation, the nation League. I would love to have him in my team, like our coaches. Just I would remember. No, he was going no. He he was um, no. Clearing here is basically that what he did, saying that I would love to have him in the team. That is the aspect of clearing the hair. So yes, tentatively, a lot of questions that has been asked is, do we want him? A hundred percent, yes. And the head coach of the Reggae Boys team makes that as clear as possible that yes, he is a player that we want. Now, remember that th this is a, the problem now. Based on the nature of how um, um, Mason Greenwood fall out of the, out of, uh, out of, um, fall out with Manchester United and also fall out of favor with England, these are the questions that will be shown at Al Grimson now is that based off that nature, are we willing to take up on that person? Now, listen to this reply from Al Grimson. I just look at the person. 
I think that my apologies. Um Okay, because you're speaking about legalities of, of him coming in. Um the, that will hap, that will then be up to the federation. It's not the coach who is going to answer for something like that. I'm not an expert in in this. I just look at the person I think that he has gone through in the in the year and a half since it happened. Um, he's the worst than I can imagine. Being in the press on social media, I can only imagine what he has been going through. The case went through stages and the case was dropped. So it's not up to me or anyone else to judge him on that. Now you will find persons, you will find females, you will find advocates. We're going to speak about why is Jamaica like this, why we keep on go for play like this. You will find that because it's human nature we're very very judgmental extremely judgmental that is this is what the coach said it was no less a person than jesus christ who said now this is very important and listen those who are without sin should throw the first stone whatever happened everybody at least deserve a second chance and he knows that all eyes are on him so it's a big pressure. So it's a big pressure. And I'm happy for the player that he's coming back because it's probably a trauma. It's difficult to come back from. Come back from. So I give him my support at least. He must have a strong mentality to start play again. Start to play again and to start play so well. Now, it's very important that we look at that. It's in that aspect when he said, those who are first without sin cast the first one. This is basically saying that he's already open to the opportunity that hey, I've already forgiven. You. And the truth is, we all have some skeleton in our closet. That's it. That every unless you're not human being. Unless you're not human being. But one of the big points is: do you believe that people deserve a second chance? Especially a young man. Who have done something maybe around 19, 20 when, it, when, when, it, when the incident took, took place. I know many persons carry grudge on that. No, I won't touch on that. As Al Grimson said, I'm also not an expert in that field. <laughs> I might have some level of training and knowledge on it, but I'm not an expert in the field. So I'm going to leave that to persons who want to judge. So in the comment section, tell us what you think about that particular aspect of it. But secondly, tell us what you think. I want you to tell us what you think about Al Grimson open up and openly saying that we are interested in this player and we'd love to have this player on board. But the final, the final decision rests with the player. Now, what does this do for a Mason Greenwood? This is telling Mason Greener that you are welcome here with open arms despite what you have been through. You are most definitely welcome here. The big part of it, big question is, is England, is the same, is it the same situation with the England Federation? Are they willing to open their arms and accept Mason Greenwood in? For me personally, from what I've seen over the years, history would have shown, shown us that it's a no. Once you have gone bad with England, with English, English FA, or you have done certain things, most of the time, they don't look back at you. Especially, especially a, with a person like Mason Greenwood. Now, I want to tell I want, I want you guys, I want to ask you guys a question. Do you believe that Mason Greenwood will consider this, this, this movement? And do you think that he will choose the Jamaica national team over the English national team if the English national team will be coming um, come back in and to the forefront and say you know what we're going to make bygones by bygones and we're going to we're going to pull it back in based on the treatment we will definitely see how that one goes so ask that's a question to you guys in the comment um, to answer in the comment section tell us what you think um, it's official that Emir Hall Grimson is very much interested in this player. I would have loved for this player to be part of the national team. Mason Greenwood, a reggae boy, that is a big, big question. A potential reggae boy, will that, be, will that happen? Will that be possible? That's very, very interesting. And I would love to see that happen. I would definitely love to see that happen. Even though I'm not a Manchester United fan, but I believe the kid is a talented kid. Brilliant. Anyways, 
people hit the like button hit the subscribe button tell us what you think in the comment section i would really really appreciate it if you guys do so Emerald uh, Grimson still looking for to add quality um, in, 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 into the Reggae Boys team. And definitely, he's one of those other players that can certainly add that bit of quality. Big up on yourself, people. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys again. Until next time, God bless. We're out. Boom.